I'm Raven. I'm the OVW Project Director at Ferris, so I oversee all of our interpersonal violence prevention work on campus, working with our Anti-Violence Alliance, or the AVA. Um, so the AVA is a group of staff, faculty, and students who are working to change our campus culture around interpersonal violence, and by that I mean dating, domestic violence, sexual assault, and stalking. Um, and this exhibit in here, it's called the What Were You Wearing exhibit. So it showcases um, narratives from Ferris students about the time that they were sexually assaulted. Um, and then a narrative description of the clothes that they were wearing during that assault. So it's to dismantle this victim blaming myth around the clothing that someone wears um, as an invitation for sexual assault. So sometimes survivors will get asked that question, well, what were you wearing? Why were you wearing that? Um, and it's part of our larger conversation around a culture of victim blaming where there's questions also along the lines of, well, why did you drink so much? Why didn't you just leave? Why didn't you tell someone? So this focus on what the victim was doing rather than what the perpetrator did. So the only person responsible for a sexual assault is the perpetrator of the sexual assault. Um, so we wanted to highlight this fact in this exhibit and have um, survivors at Ferris have a chance to let people know what happened to them um, and showcase that it wasn't their fault and that they're not alone, that they're not the only person that this happened to. I think that's a great point because there are national exhibits of the What Were You Wearing like showcase. So you, you can call um, stories from across the nation from other people. We really wanted to highlight the fact that this is happening to Ferris students, has happened, is happening to Ferris students, um, and just kind of bring it home and say that or showcase that we have survivors walking all around us. Um, we don't always know who they are, but they do exist. They're not alone, um, and we're here to provide support for them and resources for them as best as we can. It's kind of, it's a color-coded system a little bit, so on the white papers um, are the narratives that were submitted by Ferris students describing what happened to them in as much detail as they wanted to provide. There are some salmon-colored pages that have information about statistics, so how many people are impacted by sexual violence in our, um, in our, just our community, our world at large. On the green pages, we asked the survivors who submitted stories, what was something that someone could have said to you that would have been helpful for you at the time? Rather than these questions around like, what were you wearing, why did you do that? Um, what's something they could have said that would have provided you some support? And then on the blue pages, there are messages of support for other survivors. So part of this exhibit is to showcase that you're not alone, that there are multiple survivors in our community. Um, and so if anyone wants to add to that exhibit, there's a QR code on the exhibit itself where you can scan it and submit an anonymous quote, words of encouragement for other survivors.